How's there already a subscriber? <sighs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I'm scrambled. I have a shortened link. Oh, I'm shaking. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Five minutes left. Uh, I'm so nervous. Oh my god. <laughs> I should have made a checklist of everything I have to do. One minute. Oh god. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> this is it. Work 10 months for this. Let's go. Okay, now. Oh my god, it's up. Okay, let's go. Time to share. My heart is pounding. Wow. I have no idea what's going on. Hold on. The fact I can't see what's going on because I'm uploading everything. Wow, I suck. <laughs> you can tell how nervous and anxious I am by how red my cheeks are. But I'm reading comments on the actual webtoon, which is crazy. I've never seen my webtoon on my phone. Oh, I'm literally about to cry. <sighs> Wait till you guys see episode four. I really wanted to post episode four on the first day, but I held myself back. It'll be available the week after. My brain is slowly shutting down, but I have to read all the episodes and comments. <laughs> I like that some of the comments are referring to me as Somiyu because it makes me feel like they're talking to the creator but then the creator's me but then I also kind of want Somiyu to be like their own entity so this is nice I also don't mind if you say Mina because I obviously made it but it just feels I don't know I don't know <laughs> okay next episode I feel like the background's really bright I can't do anything about it actually I can oh it's what a bright day not really better, but whatever. <laughs> Episode two. The amount of times I've read my own webtoon. <laughs> I'm doing it again though. <laughs> it's funnier on my phone for some reason. Just like seeing it this small. Aww. <laughs> Someone said Chanyoung is cute. <laughs> That's so hot. What? <laughs> I've just been reading this entire time. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Thank you guys for calling my characters pretty. Uh. Thank you guys. Uh. Oh, why am I crying? Oh. Oh. Go back in, tears. Oh, go back in. Oh. Oh, it's, I can't stop them. Okay, now I'm starting to feel it. That it's worth 10 months. And I promise the story gets better. So hold on to your socks. <laughs> Not the cliffhanger. I'm sorry. I'm trying to disperse the episodes slowly so I don't get burnt out. <laughs> but I have a little bit more motivation now that people are actually reading this. It kind of felt like I was making art for no one. <laughs> but now I'm actually, it's actually out and I, f I feel more purpose. <laughs> the artist slash creative dilemma. Oh, thank you guys for enjoying it. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone wrote, not her simping over the back of his head. <laughs> I feel like the comments just always make a work so much better. And in media studies, this was called participatory culture, where the media becomes bigger than it is because of the people engaging with it. And that's why I love YouTube. That's why I love anything we consume. Uh. <laughs> Cute. Thank you. <sighs> you know, I've been up for probably like 20, 27 hours now. I, sh I should probably go to sleep, but I, I, I can't really sleep. I can't sleep with daylight. Cool, cool. Thank you guys. Oh, oh God, now I'm reading my friend's messages. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'm so emotional right now. Uh... Oh god, I am so overwhelmed right now. There's a lot going on. Okay, well, I'm probably just going to... I really should sleep, but I don't feel like sleeping. But if I don't sleep, that's dangerous. My brain's not doing well right now. <laughs> I'm just probably going to keep checking on it and probably fall asleep soon. Thank you guys for reading the webtoon. Uh, uh, <laughs> I feel like I have a little more inspiration or not inspiration, what's the word? Motivation. I feel like I have more motivation. Uh, honestly, I also do have more inspiration. So thank you. I'm gonna work on episode five now. Okay, bye. Wow, that really does feel nice. Shoot. This is fun to press on. I mean, this is nice too, but... Ugh. So this is my last keyboard. I'm still going to use this, but I'm going to use it for my laptop. I like to have my laptop propped on my laptop stand. So the way that I would do it is I would switch this between this desktop and my laptop, depending on which one I was working on. I didn't really want to switch them around anymore, so I wanted to designate one for my laptop without switching it. So this is gonna have a new home on my other desk. And then this is going to be my main new mechanical keyboard. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is so fun to press on. So here's the keyboard I've been using. So it's very lightweight and I kind of have to press it pretty hard. Not that I have to, but like I feel like I have to, you know? Oh, this one, there's a nice weight to it. This is the Dergod Taurus keyboard. It's the 10 keyless one. This is the cherry brown switch, I think. And I have to figure out how to plug this so I can see how it actually works. I got actual other keycaps. I already got some keycaps that I'm going to switch out with these. These are cute. It's like a nice minimal gray color. I got this sakura themed set i got it mostly for the korean hunger on it i couldn't really find a lot of hunger sets so i got this one i'm going to figure out how to switch it but ooh, this is so cute okay i'm gonna try to plug it this has a really nice weight to it it's kind of heavy like this is oh this is very lightweight compared to this got these little feet oh fantastic oh my gosh it has a little bit of a height to it a little bit of an angle okay this will go to my laptop it's still very much enjoy this keyboard, but now I have two. Oh my god, I could type way faster on this. <laughs> I love the sound of the backspace. The space bar has a little bit of like a whistle to it. It does kind of bother my ear, but I'm gonna have to figure out what I can do about that. Wow, I can type really fast on this. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. This is my first mechanical keyboard and I am excited for the future. I am definitely glad I got this one. This space bar though, it could use some work. Nice. Okay, I'm going to change the keycaps. I'm just going to disconnect this, unfortunately, even though I just set it up. Sorry. Whoops, here's the little tool. And we're going to take these out. Uh, which one should I start with? I'm nervous. Oh, that was easy. And then you can see there's a little brown switch. On to the next.
So I'm missing a few keys, but that's okay. I kind of like the gray and the pink. Kind of looks like an ice cream sandwich or something. <laughs> How did I type all that without making a mistake? I love mechanical keyboards. <laughs> I love the feel. This is so much fun to type with. <laughs> Overall, I give this keyboard an 8.5 out of 10, maybe a 9. The cherry browns actually do feel nice. I was kind of worried about them. They kind of sounded clicky in some people's videos, but in real life, they sound very nice. I deducted points for this spring sound. You can't really hear it when the keyboard's down low like this, but if I put the feet up, if I put the feet up, there's that echoey ping sound. It's just because of the metal and the plastic kind of combining together to make that sound. It's kind of echoing in there, especially because it's raised up now. There's much more room to echo, but I feel like with the angle, I make more mistakes when I type because I'm pretty used to it being flat. So for now, I'm just going to keep it flat. And when you make it flat, the sound is less there. It's less bad. But overall, I love the shape. I love how hefty it is. A good weight. It's not going to slip around. So that's why I give it a good 8.5, maybe an 8.75. Pretty good keyboard, especially because this is my first. I would definitely like to try out more. Yeah, you can't really hear it. I'm just very sensitive. My ears are pretty sensitive. When I listen to music, I usually have it at like the lowest volume. <laughs> this backspace. Oh, that sounds so nice. That's it for this little unboxing slash review of the Durgod Taurus K320. Hi, so my life is a bit of a mess right now. <laughs> I am desperately trying to finish episode 6 by today. Maybe I might be able to do it, but maybe I won't be able to. If not, then Thursday's fine. I am a one-man band. I'm doing this by myself. Maybe one day I'll think of getting a color assistant or something. But for now, I am doing everything by myself. I am also very behind on YouTube. I am just behind on life. And there has been a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that I am trying to organize the deal with but welcome hello i am currently coloring i finished all the line art yesterday that was intense i did about 30 40 panels all in one sitting i took some breaks obviously got some food went to the bathroom a few times and now i'm just trying to color i feel like this entire video i haven't put on makeup or anything that's fine this is literally how i look 90 percent of the time so i'm just going to continue hopefully i can get this up by tonight so that it's technically wednesday i think i might have to do an episode every two weeks. Some canvas artists do that or some canvas creators do that where it's every other week. I tried doing every week but it's kind of hard. Anyway, here's Chanyeon. He's currently in the process of being finished, being rendered, all that. I'm going to continue. I think one day I'll show you how I do line arts because actually I tried showing that in a time lapse but it was very frustrating because I hit the undo button so many times and I'm just like, why do you hit it so many times? But it's necessary. <laughs> so here's just some of the coloring process, I guess.
what time? Oh my god, it's 5 a.m. Now usually it wouldn't take me this long to make an episode, but I've just been busy. Lots of things preoccupying preoccupying <laughs> I almost said preoccupying Lots of things have been preoccupying my mind. I've just been physically and mentally busy, but hopefully I can do episode 7 faster. It didn't need to take this long, honestly. I finished rendering almost an entire episode in one day, which was today or yesterday, including today. It's 5 a.m. now. I haven't slept yet. I'm gonna sleep. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to wake up. I don't like waking up late in the day, but I have no other choice. I love sleep, so I'm going to sleep as much as I can. I do wake up when there's sunlight though, so I'm gonna have to shut off my blinds or I could keep them open so that I can wake up early, but then I won't get enough sleep. Anyway, I wanted to say that episode six is finally up. I meant to finish at at least 11 p.m. but I kind of took my time with it. I was watching some videos while I was drawing. Well, I'm like about to sleep. I like this episode. It's it's fun. It's more lighthearted. I'm excited. I'm just glad it's finally up. So I did render 30 panels today. This episode was a total of 53 panels, I think, something like that. My past few episodes have been in the hundreds only because there's so much backstory, so much information I had to get across. That's usually how it is in the beginning, but I feel like I can chill out a little bit more since I went over a lot of backstory. My first episode was 50 something panels as well, so this is pretty normal, I think, but I'm excited, but I'm also tired. I am so thankful to everyone who has been enjoying the webtoon so far. I'm so so thankful. This project means so much to me because it's this thing that I've wanted to do but was kind of nervous about doing but it's finally out and I'm finally getting to do it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the webtoon <laughs> and also leave a comment. That's literally my favorite part of making a webtoon is seeing your reaction, interpretation to the episode, to the webtoon, to the story. That's my favorite part and it makes everything worth it. It makes all these hours of staring at a screen and drawing worth it. I read every single comment, every single comment. So don't be shy, feel free to leave a comment. You don't have to, but I love reading them. I love seeing your interpretation of things, your guesses or your just your reaction to it. But yeah, that's it for this day. So it begins a Thursday. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to clean my room because I'm just so behind with my life because I have been focusing on this episode while also juggling all my physical, mental preoccupation, pre preoccupations, things that have been preoccupied Preoccupying. Did I say preoccupying? Preoccupying my physical and mental state. But now that this is done, I can take a little break and get my life together. Anywho, oh, oh, posture check. <laughs> my posture's not terrible, but oh, oh my god, I need to stretch. Okay, I'm probably gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna read some more comments first and then I'm going to sleep. But thank you so much for all the love so far. And if you didn't know that I made a webtoon, well. I'm making a webtoon. I have the link in probably in this description and then in my Instagram bio, my Twitter bio, all that. It's 5 a.m. I'm going to sleep now. Bye! <laughs> oh, Namjoon has been there the entire time. He's gonna be there. Just He's, he's just up there. It's, it's a poster that I got. I got it in Korea. Okay, good night or good morning. Bye. <laughs>